Hi guys, welcome to Bitcoin Gem channel. I hope you all are doing great. So in this video, we are going to talk about Bitcoin and the overall crypto market. We look at Bitcoin dominance. We look at ETH BTC chart. And I also want to point out something very important that is happening in the world markets, in my opinion. I think this is extremely bullish for Bitcoin and extremely bullish for crypto hodlers in general. So I hope you guys have read this disclaimer. Let us begin today's video. And guys, if you like my content, please like this video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, if you can subscribe to the channel, do it. It will really boost my confidence. So first of all, let us look at the Bitcoin chart and what we can see very clearly that Bitcoin has broken out of this resistance, which I have highlighted in the black line. This was a year long resistance and we have broken out of this resistance or this downwards resistance. And we are sitting comfortably above it right now. Our daily bull support band is also at around $50,700 approx. This you can see was a previous support which was broken and it became a previous resistance. And we have broken out of it comfortably very well. We are sitting currently way above it. Even if we come down and we retest this resistance, which is at around $51,000, and also this range of 49 to 50,000, it would not be bad at all. I am not saying we'll do that, but we can do that. And there is nothing wrong. Overall, we are extremely bullish in my opinion. So Bitcoin is looking healthy on the daily chart. If we look on the weekly, look at this. On the weekly, we are looking so good. Just look at this. We're looking extremely good on the weekly. On the monthly, wow. Lovely monthly green candle that is happening right now. And I am sure that most certainly we will have a very good bullish monthly close. So overall, the scenario is looking good. Even on the shorter time frame, let us see what's happening on the 4-hour. <clears throat> so on the 4-hour, we are still above the bull support band. And you can see there was a decent amount of sell-off happening. But still, we haven't gone down. It's Our bull support band currently is 56,000. If we look on the 1-hour chart, on the one hour chart, we are currently below our bull support band, which are 21 EMA, and our 200 EMA is at 53,700. We can go down and even retest that, and it would not be bad at all. So, the overall Bitcoin health is looking extremely good. Extremely good. I want to talk to you something very important about this, which I am seeing that is happening. I had tweeted this on 1st of October. First of all, I had tweeted in September a lot of times about SNP. This was my 11th September tweet. SNP find it looks weak to me, can have a correction. We'll have to see whether that affects Bitcoin and crypto. Next week will give us more clarity. And you see, this was a Saturday, so the markets were closed. S&P 500 had opened and on 13th, we will look on the year. Let's, this is an S&P 500 chart. I had tweeted that on 11th of September. Let us see where is 11th September. Yeah. So on 9th September, we can see over here S&P 500 very clearly. This is 9th September, this is 10th and this is 13th. So this is a 10th September candle. I had tweeted on 11th, we had markets were closed on weekends on 11th and 12th. And we can see exactly what happened on 13th, market opened bearish. And since then it has been falling down. So this was my major concern that we wanted to see what will happen. And I had tweeted a lot of times about S&P 500 and bang on with precision. I do not trade stocks, but the analysis were bang on. But what I want to share with you is what I had tweeted on 1st October. If stocks correct further, 
highly likely. I think the overall stock market, especially S&P 500, is looking still weak to me. It's in a downtrend. You can see over here. This is today's candle. And it is bearish, in my opinion. The daily is definitely bearish. If we go and look at the weekly. Yeah. So, weekly is currently sitting at a weekly bull support bag, S&P 500. And if at all it breaks this support of 4340, then it can start becoming bearish on the weekly also. And if you look on the monthly, you can see this monthly was a very huge sell-off candle. You can see this. So unless and until we do not break, S&P 500 does not break this high, there are a good chance of a further downtrend and at least coming down and retesting this monthly bull support band at 3800, 3820. So S&P overall is looking weak, no doubt about it. But what is looking good is that what I have mentioned in this tweet, if stocks correct further, highly likely, and Bitcoin pumps to new all-time high, also highly likely, then it would end the stocks BTC correlation. Also position Bitcoin as a hedge and confirm gold 2.0 narrative, extremely bullish for crypto. I think this is what is happening right now. Now let me show you why. If we look at this Bitcoin chart and let's look at the correction, we can see this candle was 7 September, where is 13 September? Yeah. <clears throat> so this candle was 7 September. Let's see what was happening in stock markets on 7th of September. You can see stock market we peaked exactly, just look at this. S&P 500, this is 7 September candle. The first red candle or the downtrending candle started on 7 September. This is S&P 500 on 7 September. This is Bitcoin on 7 September, which we saw a huge sell off, a huge dump. Since then, Bitcoin was trending down which was looking very much correlated to S&P 500 for almost a week. This was a 29 September bottom, in my opinion, from where we reversed. If you look at the S&P 500, I don't know whether it was a weekend or a weekday. Yes, this was 29 September. You see on 30th September, S&P 500 had another bearish day, huge sell-off. But what happened with Bitcoin? We reversed. So almost after two weeks of massive or very huge correlation with the stock markets because the overall markets were not looking good. There was the Evergrande FUD. There was again China FUD and a lot of FUDs. But the overall scenario in the markets were not good. World market was looking bad. All the kind of all stock markets were looking bad. But you can see from 29 September, Bitcoin has reversed. Stock market is still continuing its downtrend. We are creating lower highs and lower lows. So what I want to point out is this scenario that I had tweeted on 1st October. This, I think, is happening right now, in my opinion, okay? Uh, I think that all, any huge market players, anybody who's good, and I'm sure institutions have their own team of analysts, can look at this chart and tell you that stock markets are currently not looking that good. And I think as a hedge, people or institutions or huge players are buying Bitcoin, in my opinion. This is what I think is happening by looking at charts because 
if stock markets show uncertainty, if stock markets show that they are likely to correct further, traditionally it has always affected Bitcoin. But currently what we are seeing right now is in my opinion, the gold 2.0 narrative is catching on. People in my opinion are starting to realize that Bitcoin is a viable alternative to gold, is a good alternative to gold. And because of its limited supply and because of its fixed supply and because of its decentralization, because of very easy to take ownership of your Bitcoin, I think that what we are seeing is that people are starting to move towards Bitcoin. At least that what I can see through charts. We can also see one more reason where why people would be interested in Bitcoin right now is because of quite a few Bitcoin ETFs that could get approved. Okay, now this is a speculation, again, not a confirmation, but there are quite a few Bitcoin ETFs that can get approved in this month, in this month alone. So on 18th, 19th, 25th, 25th, and 1st November. I have retweeted this. You can check the details in the tweet. So five ETFs are on the verge of getting approved. Now, again, this is a speculation. There is no guarantee. But that is also one reason why you can say that Bitcoin is pumping and while the markets are coming down, which is amazing which to me is very, very bullish. So this is something I wanted to share with you. Very important. I had tweeted this. I hope you guys are following me on Twitter and you read all the tweets. I tweet whatever I feel is necessary and important to share with you guys. Your profits and savings should go up, not just your income. Guys, I do my best to help you, guide you with different technical analysis. I also do different kind of videos on how you can maximize your profits. You can maximize your gains. So always remember this. It's not just about your income going up. It's ultimately your profits and your savings that should go up. So do plan. Do plan that. This is something that I'm going to do and I want you to pay attention to it. And if you can be this lucky one, it would be great. I can assure you, I will surprise you with something amazing in my opinion. I will reward 10 of my most active followers and subscribers. If you are actively following me, if you are actively engaging on my content, then I'm going to surprise you with something special after the end of this bull run. So what do I mean by active? Active on YouTube means you have to like the video, you have to share the video, and you also have to comment on my videos. And active on Twitter means you have to like the tweet and you also have to retweet it. So the most active followers, 10, not just one, not just two, not just three, but 10 of my most active followers will get something special after the end of this bull run. <coughs> Sorry. So make sure you are engaging on my content. You are liking and retweeting and also you are liking the video. You're sharing the video and also you're commenting down. Now we look at the Bitcoin dominance. We can see I had shared this in Bitcoin Gem live show, I guess two weeks ago that now we have broken this downtrend and currently we are higher, going high and I expect at least Bitcoin dominance to first reach at 49 to 50 do, uh, dominance range, but we can also go as high as 52. Also, what looks like is over here a double bottom. And if this is a double bottom, then I think we can go way higher than that. And that would not be bad at all in long term, but in short terms, if Bitcoin dominance keeps rising, then alts will definitely bleed. A lot of alts will bleed, not all alts that are having fundamentally some news coming out or some upgrades coming out in Q4, I think they might not bleed that hard. You can see that with VRA, that veracity is not bleeding as 
the other old subreading in comparison. But Bitcoin dominance is certainly looking as reversal. This is a definite reversal, a bottom, a round bottom, and it can lead to uh, Bitcoin dominance rising, which we can see also on ETH BTC chart very clearly. ETH BTC, <coughs> sorry, ETH BTC currently is looking bad. It's bearish. It's broken its first local support over here. There were two different supports it has broken at 0 0.07 and at 0 0.065. The major support for EBTC, we can say since May, has been this black line that I have highlighted at 0 0.05. This should hold. If this gets broken, then we can see it going at least till 0 0.04. This is the next major support. So this is a clear sign that people are moving currently to Bitcoin and selling their altcoins, ETH BTC and Bitcoin dominance. Both are showing so. What should you do? In my opinion, this is the best time to accumulate altcoins. Okay. Bitcoin going up is a positive sign because ultimately Bitcoin dominance, in my opinion, will again come down and we will have a much bigger full-blown alt season. And if you want to make really amazing gains, then alt season, in my opinion, is where you get maximum gains in crypto. And these are the times where you start accumulating, where people are selling their alts is when you buy quality alts. Because once we get this Bitcoin dominance again coming down, which I, in my opinion is very likely, then I think you will enjoy your bags getting pumped. So people are selling alts. In my opinion, you should not sell alts. You should accumulate. You can DCA and accumulate as much alts as you can. <clears throat> Again, this is my opinion. I can be wrong. I'm not a financial advisor. So please follow your own plans. This is what I had tweeted five hours ago. Selling your old coins here is a crime against your wealth. Because traditionally speaking, the quarter four, especially the month of December and also the month of January is where we can expect alts to outperform Bitcoin or alts to really give us massive gains. And for that, you need to start accumulating alts currently. And also, it's not a guarantee that every alt will bleed. So if you are holding, say, an alt like VRA, we might not necessarily bleed. In fact, we might pump hard. So in my opinion, selling your alt because Bitcoin dominance is going up is not a wise move. If you want to stick and make that huge gains, then that's possible with alts. And for that, you have to hold alts when they are bleeding. Do not panic. Because the overall market structure is looking good. And once Bitcoin breaks its all-time high, I think it will go parabolic. And that's where you will see that funds will start flowing from Bitcoin to alts, to large caps, then to mid caps, then to small caps. And you will see massive pumps, in my opinion. This is what happens traditionally. It has happened in 2013. It has happened in 2017. I do not see why it won't happen in 2021. So this was a quick video. I hope you guys like this video. Take care. Bye-bye.